Okay, here's one from uh, Saada. She says, how do we end up with a trapped emotion, which is not ours, and it causes a symptom in our body? Well, if another person is experiencing a strong feeling, they have created a ball of pure emotional energy. Or in other words, their, their whole being is vibrating this particular energy. And if you're upset, tired, or sick, you may be vulnerable to absorbing that energy from them. You may also be particularly vulnerable if their negative feelings are aimed at you, or if some imbalance within you really resonates with their negative emotion. So when you absorb energy from another person, it is as if your body is a sponge soaking it up. Okay? And this becomes a trapped emotion exactly like any that you may have created yourself, and it, cre it can create symptoms in just the same way too. The only difference is that it did not originate with you. So hopefully that makes sense. And what we find is in our experience, when you have a trapped emotion that was actually absorbed from somebody else, the subconscious mind will always want you to know that, okay, uh, for some reason. The subconscious always wants you to know. And so this is one of the things that we, we then uh, will ask about. If you're releasing a trapped emotion and you ask, do we need to know more about this? And the subconscious mind says, yes. We'll usually figure out when it occurred, and then we'll ask, do we need to know more? And if the subconscious mind says yes, this is usually uh, what it is at that point. Not always, but most of the time, it's the subconscious wants you to know that it was absorbed from somebody. And when we figure that out, and then come back um, and ask if you need to know more, usually the subconscious will say, nope, we are done.